respected dear family members my pranams to you today on 28th may 2014 i happen to watch in almost all the indian channels discussions challenges contradictory statements giving explanations and asking explanations about the qualification of a particular minister in respectful modi's government people can justify the qualification of a minister a minister need not be qualified with the graduation or post graduation for handling any department minimum qualification has not been mentioned in any of indian penal code or indian constitution i think so and uh, the logical explanation is just like uh, sri omar abdullah said one minister handling the coal department minister for coal and energy need not have to have experience in coal mining an agriculture minister need not expect to have agriculture exposure atomic energy minister need not have to explode atom bomb or like that ganga water cleaning minister need not have taken bath in ganga or ganga snanam and remember that for handling any ministry that minister need not have to have experience on that particular subject one can easily say rabri devi without uh, even the knowledge of putting her own signature ruled bihar on behalf of lalu prasad yadav and jailalitha whose qualifications are not at all known she is beautifully ruling tamil nadu and mulayam singh yadav without uh, any knowledge on indian defense was the defense minister and you can see upa chairperson whose qualification is not at all known the only thing known was that before her marriage she was lover of the son of indian former prime minister and later she became the daughter in law of that prime minister and later she became the wife of indian prime minister and later she became the chair person of upa and later she became the pivot for making her son the prime minister of india for which her qualifications were not became a subject of discussion whether she is a graduate or undergraduate or post graduate even she might not even have passed the sslc equivalent in italy but she handled an economics doctorate holder dr manmohan singh these are all explanations and justifications one can give if somebody is asking the qualification of any minister who is handling who is guiding any ministry but as a scientist worked in csir for quarter of a century and who has got direct link in ugc and who is now running a cbse school i was fortunate enough to do all the three and on that basis i can say that ugc is university grant commission dealing with all the 400 and old universities all over india i think the number is 400 and old i do not know exactly and it is the responsibility of a chardi minister to have a voice in support of or against the vice chancellors 
through the governors of the state and HRD minister has the voice to sanction, to suggest, to oppose, to support initiating private or public universities in different states. HRD minister has got a powerful role in initiating IITs and IIMs and HRD minister has got a direct role on initiating hundreds and thousands of institutions directly or through franchisee the technological, technical, IT based, electronics based institutes for learning and teaching the next generation. So the, the role of HRD minister is not like the role of a coal minister in developing coal mines. The Ganga cleaning minister, the role of Ganga cleaning and communication minister in developing communication system. These roles of ministers in developing, in elevating their department for which these ministers need to depend on their secretaries or advisors. Whereas if an HRD minister is coming to IICT Indian Institute of Chemical Technology Hyderabad whatever the scientists are telling to the HRD minister that minister should be in a position to understand what the scientists are telling and for giving a reply to the scientists on the developmental activities or the research activities or technological aspects that minister is expected to know the scientific and technological terms to give a reply and when Dr. Murali Manohar Joshi was the minister of HRD for after that Kapil Sibal was the minister of HRD and before that far long back Shivaraj Patil was the minister of HRD they used to come to CSIR, they used to come to the UGC meeting, they used to come to the IIT meetings and so on and used to deliver lecture on science and technology off hand without any paper in their hands. Maybe that they might have got studied it by heart after taking the notes from their own secretaries. But even for delivering 45 minutes or one hour extemper of paper lecture they should at least know the scientific and technological terms not merely a BA or MCOM is BCOM is enough not enough because the HRD minister and BA and BCOM are not going complementary to each other HRD ministers purview comes UGC all the subject of which 75-80% science and technology subject all the CSIR laboratory in which 100 out of 100% science and technology and all the IITs only technology and science all the management IIMs I think this also coming under HRD they are the purely latest scientific management subjects are being discussed and implemented after discussion under such circumstances merely merely having a plus two degree or BA degree or BCom degree is not at all enough whatever may be the justification given for Jailalitha Srimati Jailalitha Justification given for Srimati Rabri Devi, justification give, given for Madam Sonia Gandhi, those are all justification meant for their escaping. But what the people voted for NBA government, BJP government, they wanted to see that Modi's government is different from Jailalitha's government. Different from Mrs. Rabri Devi's, different from UPA. But they had better qualifications in HRD whereas here the qualifications are far lower 
but that qualification according to Indian constitution is enough for handling any department but the question whether it is it enough academically constitutionally it is enough psychologically also it may be enough the linguistic background of that HRD minister is so beautiful she can talk beautiful English and beautiful Hindi but can she talk beautiful science and beautiful technology in a huge assembly of scientists and technologists if I do not know IT if I am going to take a class in Infosys I will definitely be poo pooed in that audience without the knowledge without the background without the academic qualification without the exposure if I start talking on IT in Infosys either the people will show sympathy towards me that is not what the Modi government is expecting he never bother about the sympathy in the even support of outsiders that he showed boldly and in one of the channels they said not merely having 56 inch chest measurement but showed that he has got a beautiful strong chest for such a person the canvas is so pure and clean and white in color in which the black spot HRD minister's qualification is a black spot whatever may be the wordings and whatever may be the questions and anti-questions asked or answered whatever may be the challenges pushed to others they are all not justification for the great Modi's government's answer acceptable answer so I feel that uh, millions and millions of youth millions and millions of educated uh, Indians and Indians outside India the technocrats the scientists the students they don't expect a doctor APJ Abdul Kalam as HRD minister they don't expect uh, Narayana Murthy the chairman of Infosys as the HRD minister they expect a person whether male or female who can understand scientific and technological terms when the scientists talk to the minister and the minister should be in a position to reply in the scientific and technological terms HRD minister should be in a position to evaluate the subject about which the people are talking for which a minimum postgraduate degree in science and technology is needed it is needed whether people agree or not whether politicians agree or not these are all secondary or even tertiary but scientifically logically rationally HRD ministers qualification is an important criteria on which the academicians of our motherland Bharat evaluate the new ministry people appreciate and they clap and they applaud the achievements for the last 48 hours 48 hours achievements 26th evening and 28th evening now people know that things are moving very fast people know that things are moving justifiably and logically people know that things are moving very fast at least uh, the impression created hitherto as excellent from among all these impressions here happened to be a negative impression at least I feel to me and people like me that this is a negative impression let me pray to the Almighty the God what I heard today by 30th June reshuffling 
reallocation of ministries will be taking place that is almost with within one month during that this mistake I used the word mistake will be corrected by the by the responsible persons whosoever may be responsible for that mistake committed this mistake committed just like Michael Dell said we might have committed mistake but we never repeat the mistake we might have committed mistakes but we will correct us and when we come to know that it is a mistake Michael Dell's quotations I would like to request all the people concerned at least one person happened to listen to this speech in YouTube if he conveys the message to the corresponding authorities that I will consider as the blessings of Bharat Mata and great rishis and scientists of ancient India and present India that their viewpoint will be the same as what I said as I happen to be a scientist in CSIR which we scientists expected which we scientists are expecting and which we scientists will be expecting that the HRD minister should be sufficiently qualified to understand the scientific and technological terms and to give back the solutions or guidance for for moving in the straight pathway in science and technology and higher educations. Thank you very much. My pronouns to you.